We are just leaving Lowe's for the second time today. We went up and helped James help my daddy do whatever he had to do on his trailer. And then we got home and them doggone ducks was in my backyard tearing up my flowers, tearing up my plants. So, they, yeah, they're just, but no, <laughs> no. So we've run to Lowe's to get up some, what is that? Rubber? Sheet rubber. Sheet rubber. He's going to kind of staple it on the bottom of the fence just till they get too big to crawl up under it. And I also got a new hummingbird feeder. I'm so excited. It's so pretty because I was told by y'all, I'm going to share it with y'all in case some of y'all didn't know this. I didn't realize this. But I was saying I didn't really like that other hummingbird feeder because I really never seen any hummingbirds. Oh, Lord, James. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Who's your son? <laughs> anyway, the other hummingbird feeder didn't have a little ledge for them to, like, stand on or sit on while they ate. So, I was like, well, that made sense. So, I did, James did buy me a new one. I'm gonna, we're going to get it hung up. Maybe next week. No, I mean, that's something I can do. I can hang that up, James. Maybe next week. No, I'm going to do it when I get home. Maybe next week. <sighs> Whatever, James. Anyway, I'm so excited. We did go ahead and buy the nectar stuff to put in it already um, ready to use mixed up. But once that runs out, I'll mix my own with just sugar and water. But I'm so excited about the hummingbird feeder. So I'll show y'all. It looks like an old vintage bottle, but it's not. But it's still pretty. So I will show y'all that, the hook, and how we fix the fence to keep the ducks out. Oh, it's not cats, it's ducks. <laughs> the struggle is real at the Jackson house. <laughs> Nature is just drawn to us, James, whether we want it or not. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're doing. I put my seatbelt on. Y'all hear it dinging. But it's been a good day. James and my daddy got to hang out and work. And Mama made us the most amazing lunch today. Well, brunch for us because it was breakfast lunch. Anyway, she fried us some green tomatoes, some BLTs. She took onions and put it in. Um, she s sliced them up put them in water, and then she would put them in the, what was Zatarin's, that? Zatarin's. Uh, Zatarin's fish fry, and fry them, and oh. It was the seasoned fish fry. The seasoned fry. They were so good. I made myself sick. I literally ate too much, but it was so good to have fresh homegrown tomatoes, fresh fried green tomatoes. Oh, it was so good, wasn't it, James? I made a pick of myself, didn't I? Are you agreeing that I made a pick of myself? Well, you was biting your fingernails while you was busy eating a sandwich, so I mean, you know. That was not. <laughs> but it was really good, and we had a great day. And Buster and Bebe got to play, and he played with Toby. Toby is my dad's little schnauzer. And they have always, well, not always gotten along, but once they got over that little, and figured out how to play with each other and be around each other, they've loved each other ever since, so. Mr. Buster just chilling. Anyway, we're headed back to the hacienda to, I'm gonna hang up my bird feeder and James is gonna fix the fence. Aren't you? Next week. I'm gonna go out there and fix the fence. <laughs> Look at my beautiful little hummingbird feeder. Hold on, let it focus. It's like a copper finish, and it's like an amber, not amber, amethyst glass. I think that's what it's called. But they have a little spot where they can perch their little feet and drink. And I just love it. Let me get out and show y'all. Oh, yes. Now we're going to get to watch our beautiful little hummingbirds. Hopefully this will attract them. And they had the 
the clear nectar and the red and I went with the clear because I've heard the red is bad for them. I don't know. I'm not very knowledgeable about hummingbirds, so we'll see. But, and y'all, I'm still loving my pot. I just love that. It looks so rustic and vintage, which I mean, it's an old pot. But, flowers are doing great. Look at these. Look, 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 look. These pretty little painted daisies. I don't know what the technical name for them, but we've always called them painted daisies. And then I've got a bunch of new growth there. And my crepe myrtle tree is just doing amazing. Look at this. My hydrangea is doing awesome. And I think I see a tiny, tiny little rosebud on that plant. So, and I'm going to have more beautiful day lilies blooming here. So, and look at all the blueberries, y'all. They'll just ever turn. Oh, just like one turn there. Time for me to cut back that Easter lily. That's what I did last year, and you've seen how pretty they came back. So, I worked the back 40 this morning after I got home from the gym, and I harvested three okra pods, a zucchini, and three cucumbers. And that was hard work, y'all. Let me just tell you. But your girl did it. Even after working out, I worked the back 40. But over here, this spot right here, the little ducks are coming under there and they have just about tore up my plants they was running all through them today and I'm just we're just gonna put that little piece of flash in there just until they get too big to come under the gate so James is in the garage now cutting that measuring it and cutting it and all that I mean when you have this much land there's always work to be done Always work to be done. Oh, let me show you. Little running rows my daddy gave me today. Um, they're kind of like in a little bit of shock right now, but I've watered them, and I'm gonna plant them along my fence on the back. I'm not real sure where. I think I'm gonna plant them in that corner. Whoop. In that corner back there behind the crepe myrtle tree, and let it come up in that corner and just spread out along the fence. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But they are beautiful little roses. They are like mini little roses and they're red and they look like they're red velvet. They are so pretty. There comes Jane. James is the man with the plan. You gonna need my help? Are you going to do it out there or inside? I will do it out here. Oh, I thought you were going to do it inside. Hold on. They have been pulling all of this out from under the fence. It's just been crazy. So, the things we have to do, huh, James? Mm -hmm. Do you think they're still going to be able to get through there? I don't know. Hey y'all, new day, and it's a hot one. Woo, it's hot. It's like 10.30 and it's already like 90 degrees here where I'm at and it's so humid hot. That's your weather report. <laughs> we helped my daddy yesterday and so today we are headed to help James's mom do some stuff that she needs to have done in her house. So we're gonna go do that and then this afternoon, James is going to grill us. I've got some New York strips. They're really small New York strips marinating and he's gonna grill those for us. And we have some red potatoes that he got from uh, the farmer's market that you pick place that we went to a couple weeks ago. We're gonna have those and I don't know what else, <laughs> but it sounds really good to me because I'm kind of hungry and it's not time for me to eat yet. So <laughs> sounds good to me. Here's Buster scoping everything out, making sure all is well, huh? Yeah, making sure all is well. 
<laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna get into today I never do it's always an adventure so I will bring you along I hope you enjoy and thanks for hanging out with us well we just got home from helping James's mom we ate a quick lunch and now we're headed to Wiggins to help Cody and Sarah they're putting shutters on their front of their house and they're getting well they've got a new mailbox and we're gonna help them with the post and mounting it so yeah just a day of helping people but you know what we're blessed and able to do it and that's what we do and I'm excited to see my babies <laughs> so it's really a win-win <laughs> to any of y'all's husbands make fun of y'all and like I would never you didn't just make fun of me in the way I just said what I said James, you forget Jesus is listening. Jesus laughed too. You're lying. Jesus needs to not laugh at sin. That was not a sin. Making fun of your wife? I lying about it? it? Lying fun. about it? Y'all look, we about to pull into Lowe's. <laughs> They ain't got to worry about us this weekend. We showing up. <laughs> Poor Buster. I'm so tired. It's panting. It's hot, ain't it, bub? It's hot. <laughs> James, you want to apologize for making fun of me? For mocking me? I was, he needed a sip of my drink. I said, well, it's Peach, because he don't really care for my drinks. And he said, it's the fizz that gets me. I said, it's not any fizz, and it tastes like a peach knee-high. He said, knee-high. Sounds like a donkey. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Leave it running. Don't turn it off. No kidding. <laughs> any of y'all have a wife that just insist on telling you how to do things so you do it right the first time <laughs> all right y'all let me show y'all some of sarah's summer decorating this is her dining room entryway we don't really know what you call this room we just call it everything oh sarah i forgot i made her that i made her that it looks cute there and look at this I love it. I love that old pillow. Mm -mm -mm. You know, every time I see one of those, I go to pick it up and I'm like, I don't need it. But then every yeah. time I see it, it's somebody else's. I want it. I know. So, and then over here, look. Oh, I love your little wreaths over there. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all their front flower beds and stuff. They just got, uh oh. Who would be? Who would be? Oh. <laughs> I'm showing Sarah's decorating. Oh, I work very hard, uh, but I don't need any praise. Really? I don't need any praise, but I did work hard. On the decorating? On the decorating. Or you just worked hard? Determine that for yourself. <laughs> We're going to go outside now. Dad going to help you out? They just got their flower beds redone as Cody stands in it. We really want it to go in the drought line. We do not want it to go in the brick. Number one, you can repair a drought all day, every day. Brick, not so much. But, uh, we just want to put I love your flower beds. What is that, sweet potato vine? Once we get that home, we'll just. So pretty. The knock out roses are beautiful. To be on the very edge like that. What a difference, huh? It don't matter. Babe, what do you want? You know, One side down, other side to go. Look at old glory fly. Land of the free, home of the whopper. No, rephrase that. Land of the free, home of the McDouble. No. Oh, you're right. You're right. Land of the free. Home of Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh Lord, I can see right now we got a lot to teach you. This this episode is brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse, where you can have it your way, and I'm loving it. <laughs> All right, two more to go. This is a before. This is what they looked like before and after. It's amazing what shutters can do before and after. I already do a picture of my belly before and after. <laughs> <laughs>
and I've got one for our daughter in love. When our daughter in love had not received her gift yet because I haven't seen her, so I ended up burning it. So I had to get her another one for her birthday. <laughs> Um, it smells amazing. If you like sunflowers and daffodils, you will love this candle. It's called Blue Sky Breeze, and the notes are morning spring air, fresh violet petals, crisp gala apples, English ivy with natural essential oils. It smells so clean. I absolutely love it. So, that's one I got for a gift. Um, this one I got from me. It is under the magnolia tree and it smells so good. Um, the notes in it is magnolia petals, lemon zest, peach blossoms with natural essential oils. I smell a lot of lemon in this one while it's not burning. The lemon's what got me. It just smells so good, and I've never seen this one there, so I picked that up under the magnolia tree. And then I picked this one up, I'm gonna have as like, um, I'm probably going to use it. I was going to have it for like a little backup gift, but I'm probably going to use it. It's called Pink Lemonade. Oh, it smells so good. And the notes in it is Sweet Strawberry Puree, a Arkea Berry, Fresh Lemonade, Sugar, and Natural Essential Oils. Y'all, it smells so good. I really like that. And then while I was up there at the register, I had already paid for my stuff. She, one of the girls come up and she had like five or six Christmas candles that were 75% off. Um, and I said, do you have a tis this season? She said, I think I have one. So I got this one. This is my all time favorite Christmas candle from Bath and Body Works, tis this season. <sighs> Just, oh my gosh, I love it. And I paid $6 for it. And the notes on it is rich red apples, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And it is this, my favorite. So grab that. These were on sale for half off. And they're the little car fragrance. And I got the watermelon lemonade. I got two of them because I have two of the little things in my car. Love these so much. They last a long time too. So got those. And then for my little plug-ins, I got two of my... Black Cherry Merlot. I love them. They were on sale five for 27 And then I got three of the, um, what is it called? Firecracker Pop. And I was up at the register. They had it like by the register in the line where you go. And I smelled it and it smelled so good. I can't remember what the notes is on it. Let me see. It doesn't tell me, but it's a lot of like cherry and berries. And so I got three of those. So I realize now that I probably need it because I have two in my bedroom and I have one in the guest bathroom, one in the living room, and one in here and one in the guest room. So what is that? Four, five, six? I need one more. Hmm. Oh well, I'll go back and get another one. But that is my Bath and Body Work haul. So I'm going to wrap this one up for her gift. And Hopefully, we will get to see them very soon, and I can give it to her, because she's already had her birthday, and she loves Bath and Body Works. We always go when she comes down, and so I still may take her and let her pick her something else out to go with it when she comes, because she just loves it so much. She loves all the soaps, and I wasn't sure which soaps that she, she bought a bunch when she was here the last time, and I wasn't sure which one she bought and which one she liked. So when she comes back down, I'll probably take her and let her get either some more candles or soaps or whatever she wants to go with this. But this will be her little thing that she can open while she's here. And then we'll just go when she comes because she loves it. She is a girl after my heart. She loves thrifting. I have three daughter in love. Well, no, four. All four of them love thrifting. Oh, all four of them love thrifting. I just realized that. So, the one I don't get to see often, um, the last time she was here, I found out she loves thrifting, and I was like, you're going to have to come down here, and we're going to just, we'll leave the guys at home, and we'll go thrifting. So, I can't wait till we can plan a date <laughs> and show her all the thrift stores here on the coast, because she lives in Hattiesburg, and they don't have that. I haven't had very good luck in Hattiesburg at thrift stores. If you live there, I'm sorry. We have better thrift stores down here on the coast, so come down here and visit with me. All right, y'all, I'm gonna finish my coffee. It's burning me up. I have not had coffee in three days, two days. And that means I haven't had my collagen in two days. 
the timing just hadn't worked out. And so I got me a cup of coffee today and I swear I'm burning up drinking this coffee. But I gotta finish it because it's got my collagen in it. <sighs> the struggle. So let me finish this up and get in front of a fan and cool down. And James has got the grill going, so we're fisting the grill. So I just wanted to share my goodies with you. And when I burn these, I'll let you know my opinion on them. This one, I'm hoping it real smells real lemony like it does when it's not lit. And this one just, oh, the pink lemonade. <laughs> y'all see a fan here? All right, y'all. I will catch up with y'all just a little bit. Look what just got delivered. Do y'all know what that is? Any guesses? James, you know what it is? More work. What? More work. <laughs> That is our outdoor ceiling fan for the back porch. I'm fixing to open it up and see what it looks like. And hopefully I can sweet talk my sweet honey. You Jane. did all the work out of me yesterday. I didn't get any work out of you. You worked and helped everybody else. Hey, you know what was kind of funny but not funny about yesterday? I know you don't watch my devotional channel. I mean, let's face it, you don't watch any of my channels. But our devotion on Friday was about the chain of hands and it was how um she could sit back and see how all of her life how all these different people had helped her through her life and that she would probably feel really guilty if she herself had not helped others and how you know looking back she could see the chain of hands and how you know who's she marjorie holmes the book that we read from okay and how like it's I forget how she worded it, but how, you know, it's, it just continues. The pattern continues. The, you know, she helped people, people helped her, she helped people, and then the people she's helped will then in turn help people, and then those people will help people. You get it? Chain of hands. Mm -hmm. And Friday and Saturday, was that not it? That was our chain of hands. We were helping others. And you know, in turn, you know Papa will turn around and help whoever he can. Your mom is the same way. Cody and Sarah are the same way. And so it's like a chain of hands. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. See, this is why you should watch my devotional channel and Delightfully Southern James. Okay. Are you going to do it? I get no support around here, y'all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can y'all believe I said that with a straight face? I'm just kidding. James is very supportive. He just don't watch my channel. And that's okay. That's okay. He just don't have time. And quite honestly... He's pro always, well, 90% of the time, he's in the center of it, so he knows what's going on anyway. Right, James? Yeah. <laughs> One lady commented, she said, 70% of the videos is, I'll wait, when Jay wait till James gets home. <laughs> How true is that, James? Mm -hmm. But aren't you proud of the other 30% that I do that I don't have to have your help? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if it was 100% of, I'll wait till James gets home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, she's so spot on. Anyway, I just thought it was funny. Look at this, y'all. Look at this thing right here. He has no worries. He's over being mad at me. He had to have a bath last night. We were at Cody and Sarah's, and of course, he was wallowing around in something in the grass. I went over there to see if there was anything, but I didn't see anything, but he undoubtedly smelt something. And I'm like, well, that's your luck. You get in a bath tonight. And he did, and he didn't like it. And he was mad at me for a little while, but he got over it. Here are the steaks that have been marinating for a day. And then this is our harvest when I worked the back 40. There's James's okra, cucumbers, and our zucchini. He's going to grill this today. I'm going to cut this up, put this in some oh. Italian dressing. And I, you know, should I fry him all this okra? Y'all, do y'all think he can eat all this okra in one setting? I don't know. James, you think you could eat all that okra in one setting? Huh? No? <laughs> but now I'm going to cut up our red potatoes. Get them boiling. Because I, we cook extra because he can take it to work for his lunch. And I'm going to tell you what, the money you save on not eating out it's crazy. So, that's why we have the extra steaks out. Well, they were all in the one pack anyway, so they would have to be cooked. But he didn't take one to work. So, I gotta quit chatting to y'all and I gotta get busy. James is demanding I get busy. 
James is demanding I get busy. I know, you are demanding, so demanding. Oh, y'all, let me show y'all real quick while I'm thinking about it. What Sarah bought for me at the thrift store the other day, and she gave it to me yesterday. I already have it styled, so I'm going to show y'all. I got to take it. Give it to you yesterday. What'd I say? Give it to me. James, you got one more to correct my grammar. One more. You either love me the way I am, improper grammar and all, or you don't love me at all. Anyway, let me show you all this. Let me show you what Sarah gave me yesterday. Better? <laughs> and I've already got it styled. Look, is that not the cutest? She and I were talking. We have never seen one like that before. I honestly think, let me set this up here. I honestly think it probably goes to something else because I think it probably had a lid and it probably went to something else. I'm not sure. But I don't care. I love it. And look, she get, she paid five ninety nine for it at the Goodwill. I got to take that sticker off. But when she gave it to me, <laughs> I had this spot in mind. And you're probably thinking, well, Donna, what did you do with the piece that you have there? Well, I'm going to show you. Y'all just can't look at all the dust. I need the dust. So, y'all can't look at all that. But I love this. And I don't think I'm going to put anything in it because I really love that spout and everything. I just love it all. So let me show you where I put what was there. So this is where I put that piece and I took the other little pottery piece down and I'm thinking I'm gonna actually put a plant in the pottery piece, but I put that up there to kind of tie in the brass, the gold. I mean, it just kind of all flows and I love it. So there you go. I know y'all were wondering. And so now you don't have to wonder anymore. What are you doing, James? Cooking. My wife won't cook for me. And let me show y'all. Y'all see these curtains? Those are thrifted. I thrifted them the other day. They only had the one, and I was like really bummed because I wanted to, like one for my door. But when I took the one off of the door, I could not believe how much light that one little curtain was blocking. So I really don't mind that I don't have one there, and I really like that, but I paid $3.99 for that panel, and I just, I love it for summer. It, had, it draws in all the colors, the blues, the greens, the blacks, the reds, just everything, and so, I just had to have it. And it's a Walmart, Better Homes and Garden one. And I looked to see if they had another one. They don't, I guess this is one from a different year. They don't carry this one anymore. So I'm fine with it. I think it's fine. It doesn't bother me. And like I said, this lets in so much more light. So I'm cool with that. And one other item I'm gonna show y'all and then I gotta get busy. I know how I was telling y'all I wanted a book for my coffee table. Well, look at this one. I thrifted it and I paid $3 for $3.99 I think. But it is World War II, the American history, Heritage Pictures History of World War II. And I love it. I love that it's blue and gray. And it's got this eagle and all that. I love that. But when you open it up, look, it says to brother, or I think it says brother, 1980 from dad and mother. And then when you look, it even has notes written in it. Like this is where brother was as, I can't read what that is, pilot with something, something, something. <laughs> I can't really read it, but look at this. My daughter is going to love this book. She is all about the Holocaust and all of that. And she is going to absolutely love this book. But I thought this was a great coffee table book, and I like it, and I love the colors of it. So, there you James, go. how are you going to cook those? Oh, this fly. How are you going to cook those? With the flies. I mean, I see you've cut them in spears like that instead of the... Yes. So, what are you going to do? Real simple, just a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt. Do you need some foil? No. You're just gonna lay them on the, yeah. the grates like that? I wipe them down. So you don't think the juices will like cook out of it and, okay, I'm gonna trust you, James. I'm gonna share a little tip with y'all about how to get rid of flies in your house. Hold on. So, 
These doggone flies, y'all, I fight them. They're not as bad as they could be thanks to that little fly catcher thing at the end of the house, but they, they still come in the house and I hate them. So what I do is they'll get in the window and I leave the blind like that. And then I take my vacuum cleaner and I put the long attachment onto it. And then I turn it on like for carpet, which is like a stronger suction. And then I stick it in that window and I suck them flies up. Works like a charm. And it's so much easier than trying to kill them. And this kills them and it gets rid of them. So you kill them and get rid of them all at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, look at there, look at there. That's what I'm talking about. You the man, James. So his solar cover thing will be in Thursday and it's going to be so wonderful to have that shade over it and then we're going to get the lattice to put over that and it's going to make all the difference in the world and we get our ceiling fan put up that's going to make a difference and lord knows we need to pressure wash this house but I guess he's got the pressure washer did you say the princess yes you're right to lane and Tyler of our pressure washer so we won't be pressure washing anytime soon it's just too doggone hot, y'all. It's just too hot. All right, James, you gotta speak up so people can hear you. She's burning me to death. <laughs> so, tell them what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna go build a cabinet. He is finally going to work on the cabinet in the garage for our, like one part of it is going to be like for my vacuum cleaner, my mop bucket, all that kind of stuff, and a shelf above that. And then the other side of the cabinet, excuse me, is going to have, ow. Um, ain't nothing biting you? You say sweet like I am. Anyway, the other side's gonna have shelves for like our paint, stains, spray paints, all that kind of stuff. We tend to accumulate. I don't wanna hear it. You buy spray paint all the time. Spray paint, it has now taken over the garage. We actually had a little cabinet we set it on the top of. That cabinet is now overrunning and then we're gonna have like you know for paint supplies gloves all that kind of stuff and it's gonna organize all that and then i think well no it ain't gonna happen i was gonna say i think delane and i thursday are gonna start stripping that cabinet but it's supposed to rain all week i guess you're gonna paint and we will be stripping it or paint but maybe she and I can get the stuff to cover that ottoman and I can fix it where you did it incorrectly. <laughs> I gotta fix your work. The one that I did three months ago and she still hadn't done anything with it. I, I would be more than happy to show her how to fix it, but she ain't gonna listen to me. I'm gonna unscrew it from the top and screw it through the bottom. That's all it needs. Cause I gotta take that piece off and cover it, upholster it, and then put it back on there and put the screws in there. The way you've got it, I can't take it off to upholster it. And the way it's made, you can't upholster it on it. And I'm ready to get that out of the garage, get that cabinet out of the garage. All of it's the princess stuff. Why ain't you fussing at her? The princess didn't haul all that in here. The princess is for the princess. <laughs> Anyway, much to do, but we got to find the right weather. I, want, I, I really feel, thought the grass guy would come yesterday, didn't you? Because next week it's going to be raining. He ain't going to be able to cut it. He'll put floaties on the mower deck. And my daddy's giving me the rock I need for my corner over there that I want to do. We just got to go get it free. It's free. I'm saving us money. It's free. And I'm looking for a weeping willow tree to put in that corner over there because they love water and that's the perfect spot for it. And that's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to have my own little area over there. You might want to go check that rock pile for snakes. I'm, I'll, I'll take a dump. I don't think you can say that on YouTube. It'll be okay. Wow, it's 
be up my stint. You're trying to kill me. I'm not. You're trying to kill me. I'm saving your life. James, you need some sun on your legs. Mm -hmm. You need to be out there where you can have your legs in the sun and get you a little color because they're blinding me. I'm quite fine. Hey, well, look, let me put, make it twice as bad. Ooh! <laughs> I had to cut your hair today, too, don't I? Shave your face. It's hot. Don't. I put your belly aching. Keep flies off of it too. Oh my word, I'm stuffed. I couldn't even eat all of my steak but everything was amazing. For those potatoes, I put two cubes of butter and then one packet of ranch seasoning in it. Mixed it all up and let that melt. Oh my gosh, it was so good. James was like, we definitely need to add these into the, our normal rotation. And then my cucumbers, I just put some zesty Italian on those. And then he just, y'all saw how he did the zucchini. He just salted and put some garlic on it. Put it on top of the rack in the grill and let it cook a little bit and it was delicious <sighs> so full now i got flies to kill always flies to kill Ugh. why do we have to have flies i know they're essential i mean i know they have a purpose but i hate them and i don't need them inside my house so let me get to killing the flies it is beginning <laughs> So this is where the cabinet's going to go, right here. i slide this down a little bit. We're gonna go through and get rid of a bunch of this. Two of those are gonna be donated. They work fine, I just don't need them. And then you see all this kind of stuff and this kind of stuff and there's paint up under there and there's paint over there. And there's paint in that cabinet. There's stuff in that drawer. All that's gonna go right here. Oh, it's a work in progress, y'all, but you know what? This is life, and at least we're starting, right? Oh my goodness, I'm just thanking the Lord for the rain. It's so bad. Y'all see how pitiful our little back 40s looking? And I can water it all day long with my water hose, but y'all, it's just not do it good. Like this rainwater. This rainwater, there's just something about it. I'm collecting some in a little bucket, and I'll use that. And yeah, thank you, Lord, for the rain.